The U.S. Navy's USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 successfully executed the first live fire test of the MK-57 vertical launching system with a standard missile SM-2 on October 13. The test was conducted at the Naval Air Weapons Center Weapons Division C Test Range, Point Magoo. As the first-in-class ship, USS Zumwalt successfully demonstrated its capability to detect, track and engage an anti-ship cruise missile threat with a SM-2. The structural test fire assessed the material readiness of the ship against shock and vibration of the weapon firing, as well as measure any hazards or degradations as a result of firing live ordnance. Today's successful test not only demonstrates the ship's capability to fire missiles and conduct self-defense, it is also a significant step toward more advanced combat system testing and operations for our Navy's most technically innovative warship, said Captain Matt Schroeder, DDG-1000 program manager. The USS Zumwalt crew and Surface Development Squadron 1 are working hand-in-hand -hand with the acquisition community to advance this ship's operational capability. The Navy's accepted the delivery of the $4 billion destroyer this April, years after the warship was inducted. It successfully concluded a structural test fire of the Mark 46 Mod 2 gun weapon system GWS, in May. DDG-1000 achieved sufficient combat system installation and activation earlier this year for the Navy to take final delivery and transition to the next phase of developmental and integrated at sea testing. At 610 feet long and 80 feet wide, Zumwalt is 100 feet longer and 13 feet wider than the Arleigh Burke class destroyer. Employing an integrated power system IPS DDG-1000 has the capacity to distribute 1000 volts of direct current across the ship's entirety, allowing for enhanced power capability for various operational requirements. Additionally, the shape of the superstructure and the arrangement of its antennas significantly reduce radar cross-section, making the ship less visible to enemy radars.